honestly, because these numbers are quite small, I think the easiest way of doing this question is to draw a grid and then you can spot the odd one out. So it takes a bit of time. It's not going to be perfectly to scale, but I'm just going to go up in ones. My highest y value is 6, so that works quite well. And then do the same for x. And then I'm going to plot the coordinates. So we've got 4, 1. We've got 2, 4. We've got 5, 6. 3, 5. And 7, 3. And you can immediately see, like, there's something going on with this one. This one does not look right. That's going to be the answer. Um, because you can form a square from the rest of them, going like a long 3 and up 2. Here we're going along. Sorry, here we're going along two, down three. Yeah, you can see it's kind of the same grade into it that they're perpendicular. We are going to get right angles here. That's a really solid method. If you don't, if you know, imagine if the numbers were bigger though, like how could we do it? Um, if it was much further apart, of course, this method would fall apart then, and you'd you'd have to resort to trying to calculate some of the lengths. So we could calculate, like, you know, there's quite a few to calculate, but you could go along, you know, you could find A, B. And the way you could do that is you look at the differences in the, well, each length. Um, let's go between, I've forgotten which, where, so this was A, I didn't add it on, and then we had, uh, this was B. So if I wanted A, B, I can actually can turn this into a right angle triangle, where this is now the hypotenuse, and it's going to be 2 squared plus 3 squared square rooted, which is root 13. Um, you can get that without doing the diagram by just finding the differences in your x's, the differences in your y's, and squaring and adding. Um, and from there, we could find some other lengths. You know, we, if we found a c, um, it's five six. Then we'd we end we'd end up with this one. It would be a longer length if we did. If we did a e, then you would again get root thirteen. And from that, you know, you could work out where the lengths of the square are. Um, and ultimately, you could reject D. So, it's, it's, to be honest, it's longer in this case, but it would be the method to use in the general case if the numbers were, you know, were far apart and, um, you know, you couldn't draw a diagram as easily.